What's up guys, welcome to your 38th After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how to create freeze frames. Now if you don't know what a freeze frame is, it's pretty much a video clip that plays at normal speed and then when it gets to a certain point of time it freezes on that frame, it looks like they're pausing and then after a couple seconds or however long you want to create it, it just resumes playing again. So it's a really cool effect and I'm going to show you how to do it properly in this tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a video clip and drag it into your new composition to create a new composition. So now we have a composition that's the same size as the video. So the first thing we want to do pretty much is edit the composition settings. And so go up to composition, composition settings and expand your composition by like a minute or something. And now you can see our composition is longer than our video. Our video ends right here, but our composition keeps on going. And if we say, all right, why'd you do that? Because whenever we create a freeze frame, what we're gonna do is take a frame and freeze it for a certain amount of time. So we're gonna end up with a clip that's longer than our regular clip, depending on how long that freeze frame is for. So that's why we wanna expand the composition so we can see that data. So now let's go ahead and start working with freeze frames. Now in order to work with the freeze frame, what you need to do is select your layer right here and select layer time, enable time remapping. Now what this does is, let me shrink this so you can see, is it puts a time remapping setting right, it puts pretty much two keyframes at the beginning and end of your animation right here. And these keyframes represent points in time of your video. So if I show this graphically, you can see, let me click time remapping. You can see that your video is playing at a constant speed. Again, uh, the X axis is the length of your composition. And as the Y axis grows, it just means that it's playing in a normal speed, nothing new. So what would we do? Let's go back to normal view right here. How would you think that you would um, edit this so you can set up time remapping? Well, what you could do is this. You could set go to position like right here. Let me find a good air right here when she's eating the toast. And right there. And you can go ahead and create a keyframe right here. And then go back a little bit right here. And a little bit longer and go ahead and create a keyframe. And then when you go to your graphical editor, just move this down. And as you can see, it plays for a little bit right here. And then let me move this even more. So it'll get a nice longer freeze frame. So it plays normal speed right here. And then when it hits this, the composition keeps going, but your video stays in time. It doesn't go anymore. So as you can see, this is one way you can create a uh, uh, what's it called? A freeze frame. I was about to call it a keyframe. So let me play this and you can see in the video plays stops right there. So if you're thinking, all right, I can create a keyframe or excuse me, a freeze frame that way. So enough for this tutorial. See you later. Well, not so fast, Hoss. There's one problem with this and yes, it is a major problem. Whenever you do it this way, as you can see that the ending slope is a different slope and what this means is that this portion of the video right here is going to play at faster speed since it's a steeper slope again the um, less dramatic the slope the how do I say slower it plays the more steep the slope the faster it plays so even though we created a freeze frame successfully right here by um, having it totally the same whenever you get right here it's going to play at a faster speed so this is not the ideal way to create a freeze frame and I was just wanted to show you that because I know a bunch of you guys were going to do it so let's go ahead and um, in our animation again just get rid of all your defaults go to a place you want to freeze and now I will show you how to success successfully create a freeze frame go ahead and click your layer click layer time enable time remapping and then go to some place you want to freeze like right there go ahead and click your keyframe button right here to add a keyframe looking familiar well not so fast 
What you want to do here is click the page down button on your keyboard. This is going to move your composition or video one keyframe. And then you want to go ahead and click this again. So if you scroll in, as you can see, we now have two keyframes right next to each other. So from there, make sure you only have that one selected and go ahead and press shift on your keyboard and select this last one. Now go ahead and undo shift and you can move both of them at the same time. And now if we look in our graphical editor right here, our freeze frame was successfully created right here and it kept the slope right there. So again, this is normal speed, this is a freeze frame, and this is normal speed right here. As you can see, this slope is not more um, intense or less intense. Um, same angle all throughout. So that is how you successfully create a freeze frame. And let me play this video for you. As you can see, it's slow just because it's rendering. But this is real speed. And now it freeze frames right there. And then when we get to the end of our freeze frame, I'll play it. And boom, back to normal speed. So again, that second way is the ideal way and the only way where you should be creating freeze frames. Again, create a frame, a keyframe, where you want your animation to freeze. Then press page down. And then when you press it, create another keyframe. And select the ending two frames and press shift and move them. In this way, as you can see in the graph editor, graph editor, what the heck? Graphical editor, there we go. We get a nice ideal animation with successful keyframes and we don't speed up or slow down anything. So never do it the first way, always do it the second way. And this is how you can create successful freeze frames. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next tutorial.